video demonstration, I'm going to show you how to use JND392 Diorama card, along with a few of the other dies from this collection, like the split trees and the deer scenes, to make this beautiful sort of box card here. This is an example by Leslie, but as you can see, it actually folds totally flat but has all of that depth in it without using any foam tape. And this is really, really easy to do. It just takes a few simple steps. So we're going to start, and I've already cut the diorama die, which you can see the previous video to see how to cut this. It's simple. And we have all the folds in here. So all we want to do is just zigzag each of those folds. Really simple. And we want to cut the aperture into the front. So make all of the folds first. And then you want to take the aperture that you're using. And for this one, we're going to be using the square from the JND 419 Deer Scenes 2023. So we're simply going to place that on and you'll notice it gives a very thin border, but this is the right border to fit within the aperture card. So we simply tape that on and we run that through and cut it. And what we're doing is, I'm going to show you this cutting is you need to make sure you've made all of these folds first and don't over flatten them as you don't want to lose the lines when you run it through your machine. So I'm simply going to bring in my Collider and run that through quite simply. It is a little bit more, diff more difficult to go through because you've got a straight line at the top. But this was designed to be that little bit tougher because as it, it has this beautiful double stitch line running all the way around it. So we have that, and to make this card, we need to put power tape all the way around the aperture, which I've done in this example here. And you'll see that the six millimeter foam tape fits exactly within that aperture. We then need to cut a second one of these to work as the back panel. So we have our back panel here, and it's been cut exactly the same, and the folds have been made. So we now want to simply start adding the sections. So I'm going to do a white on white. So here I've got the winter trees that have just been coloured in, been just been embossed in white. And this is from the box kit that we've used this embossing folder. So I'm simply going to add a little bit of glue on because everything is flat within this one. The die does all the work for us. So a little bit of glue and we add that to the back giving us the perfect back panel. And this has been cut to just short on five inches. So I go to five inches and pull back by about a 16th of an inch, or if you're metric, 12 and a half centimeters is the perfect measurement. So there we have our first piece in there and our panel. And you can, if you want to, to highlight this, I'm using some of the new Fusion Mica Magic. I've got this beautiful silver and I'm just going to use a little bit of that, just lightly rubbed over with my finger, relatively heavy at the top, and then just dragging down lightly for the rest of it to make the trees just that little bit visible. It gives us that little subtle shine, but really simply colors that. So there is our first panel done, nice. Very easy, very simple. So we now need to cut our panels to go in here. And what I'm going to do is I've actually cut already the largest from the Deer Scenes 2023, the smaller opposite Deer Scenes that come within the project book number one. And we're then going to use the split trees. So the split trees die, which is JND418, gives you, when cut together, a perfect section of trees, exactly the same as your embossing folder, or very, very close. However, it's in two separate parts, so we can cut it in two separate parts. So very simple and very easy to do. So all I've done here is cut one into there and cut one into there and these again are pieces of card 12 and a half centimeters or just short on five inches and to pop these in we simply finish the lines off by cutting from the edge and taking out the excess piece so i've taken that out of there and for this one because we're putting five layers in 
These are going to go on the back. So I'm taking power tape and again, the six millimeter and running that along the front, just like that on one side. And then I put a little bit on the front on the second side. So nice and simple, we'll move that up so you can see that. A little bit there on the front. Nice and easy. So all we do is reveal that tape on one side. We're going to put that into place, up buttered up, and we're going to press down our first section. So it puts it onto that first section. We're then going to take the largest of our trees and this time we want to put tape on the back. So we're going to put tape again on both sides on the back and I would suggest using power tape. If you can get and you've got power tape, I would really strongly recommend it. It's the strongest tape that's out there. If you haven't or can't get hold of power tape, I would suggest use a very good red line tape. They aren't all the same. Don't use your standard finger lift tape. So again, we've revealed on one side and I've actually revealed it on the wrong side. So we'll just pop that back over. That's the other thing I love about power tape. You can put the protective sheet back on. So we want to take this off. So every time we're taking it off on the back, we want to take it off from the left hand side. Again, close our piece and attach that in, butt it up against the fold, just like that. So we have our second layer there. We're then going to put our third layer in. So I have the other piece here of the split trees. So this time we're going to take tape off of the right hand side, because this is going on the front. And again, we put that into place on top, making sure it's right, fold one in, making sure it's right on the other side, pop it into place, and again, fold that down. So you can see now we have our one, two, three layers. We're then going to do exactly the same again with the next set of deers. So again, a little bit of tape on the back on each side. Really simple. And check, we want to take this, it's on the front from the left hand side. So check where you're positioning it and take the tape off in the right place. So we take that tape off and we simply put that into place. So there we have our one, two, three, four and five. And that way you can see the deers are interspersed amongst the trees. So we're simply then going to take some tape and put that along this front side. And we'll close that last. So we now take our front piece, which has been done. We place tape along the inside of there and we reveal that to stick it together. So opening our card out, we put those two pieces together to give us our closure. And we're simply then going to flip over and put each piece into place. So we're starting first of all with our split trees layer. So reveal your tape. And this is going on the back, so pull it into position, push it down, again, Pull that into position. It will go under a little bit of tension, which is why you use power tape. And there we have our first section of trees. We then take our next section, which is our deers. And again, remove our protective sheet. Pull that to meet. And push that down to adhere that one. You can start to see how the layers are automatically separating and folding up. Again, we do the same thing. So we're now taking our second piece of split trees. We push that into position and we fold down our fold again. Again, giving that difference. And we take our final piece, take that out 
and we put that again into position. We can simply then reveal the tape here on the right hand side and we close up our piece. Very nice and very simple. But can you see there that it's a little bit wider than the aperture? So you'd simply take your scissors and chop down this piece. So you will always need to make sure to check your aperture first to make sure that you don't see any of the flap through. So I've trimmed that down now so it won't be visible. And I can then simply match up the two edges and the sides, get it into place and tape that down. And there we have, to start with, our basic piece with all of our layers. And you see all five layers in there beautifully. So you could add glitter into here or snow into here or anything really into here that will help give you the scene that you're actually wanting. You can colour in different ways. There's so many ways to use this. So now we want to make our sort of book fold top for it. So I'm going to move that to one side and I'm now going to bring in the pieces of card that we need for this. So I've taken here a strip of card that has been trimmed down to seven inches and I've scored this at one inch. So I've scored it here at seven inches and then again at eight inches to give me the fold which is nice and simple and I want to fold this over so the flap is at the front and apply two layers of foam of blue tape tape across the front here I've actually got a piece that's already done so you can see here I've just attached the power tape there nice and simple so we put that to one side we then take another square that's been cut to seven by seven and we take the exact same matching die that we used for the front of the diorama card, again from the deer scenes, place that into the middle and we cut that and it gives us that beautiful double stitched edge all the way around our piece. And we now simply need to attach this onto our frame. So I'm going to reveal the tape on all four sides and you may find this slightly easier to put the tape onto the back of here but I think this is a little bit more visual that we do it this way. So we're taking that off and we simply now want to match up the frame. So take that and I'm going to do one corner first matching it all the way around so quite simple match it all the way around once you're happy that they're completely lined up and because they've been cut with a die they will you, it feels like it's very complicated but it will actually match up exactly just like that so again this could work almost as a box frame so there we've got a really deep seam showing but of course completely flat for postage and then to add it onto our card blank I'm simply then going to reveal the tape on the back piece just like that and taking this panel we'll do this on the back I'm going to match it up so I'm just going to slide that in there just like that can you see and match up the two corners once I'm happy that it's in place like that, turn it over, make sure it's sealed. And we do this seal here because this is a section of the card you're not likely to see. But there we have our totally freestanding, perfect box card. And you could decorate this however you want. As you can see here, Leslie's used some of Helen's holly and some beautiful sort of pearls in there. But we can decorate exactly as you want to. So very simple if you follow the instructions, but makes you a very ethereal and sort of quite beautiful Christmas card or card for any occasion done quite simply because you can alter what you're putting into there. But again, it will fold completely flat for postage, making it at worst a large letter. For more hints, tips and ideas and inspiration, why not visit the Crafting with John Next Door and Crafts 2 group on Facebook? Enjoy.